a probiotic can't completely mitigate the damage, but it can help. You need to start it when you start the antibiotic and continue it for about 30 days after. You want to take it in the middle of the antibiotic. So if you're taking an antibiotic at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., you want to take the probiotic at 2 p.m. Okay. And again, I give lots of advice in the book about what kind of probiotic, how much, et cetera. And then while you're on the antibiotic and for a month or two after, you want to cut down on the sugary starchy food because, again, that's going to feed the wrong bacteria. You want to increase the MAC type food, microbiota accessible carbohydrates. So that's the whole greens, the, legu- the beans and greens, basically. Yeah. You want to really focus on those. If you are having trouble with yeast overgrowth, you want to eat some yeast fighting foods like pumpkin seeds, seaweed, rutabaga, coconut oil. That's all good yeast fighting foods. You can make a mushroom tea using shiitake and maitake mushrooms, dried mushroom caps, boil with water. But really the most important thing is to really focus on your diet. High 